you know, even if it's like hard for you to tell me, she always tells me and she, or she'll ask me things that she wants to know. Or that I hear at school. Or she hears at school what certain things might mean. Because I don't know anything. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> A green tea um, latte but cold on ice. What else can I have for you? Um, can I have that also with um, almond. almond milk and the vanilla uh, cold, cold foam? foam. <laughs> what else can I get for you? And can I get a tall caramel brulee frappuccino with whip? Okay. And that's it. 1140 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. He's so fancy. <laughs> even understand what I just said. My cousin got it for me one time and I really liked it so now I get it all the time. Yes. But I usually would get vanilla shakes. Yeah. Because those are good. I don't know. Does that look okay? You get in the picture. I want to go back. Oh, why don't we do that? Duh. Here's my ideas today. Okay. So I'm watching this. Uh, I don't know what this person is doing. Is there a car off? Oh yeah, our car's this, off. This okay, that's random. Literally no one's in this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you shout out your sweater? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't even see. <laughs> Is it backwards? Yeah, los queridos. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. Good shout out. Good shout out. So Gabby is 17 now, and she's a junior in high school. Correct. Yeah, yeah. so I can't believe how fast. See, when she went into high school, I knew that once she's in high school, it was going to go really fast. And it's going really, really fast. Because she wants to go away to college. <laughs> and I guess we did our job by making her independent, but like what's the rush yeah, i honestly didn't think high school was gonna go fast i've been warned that it was so i didn't believe it but i, I actually did <laughs> we're almost done junior year is the hardest year and it's been nice that it's yeah. been at home but like gabby's whole thing was always playing sports always playing sports and i mean she used to paint and draw and stuff but you didn't do it that much because you were mm -hmm. always busy and um i would get home late after this. Exactly. And that would have to work. Then wouldn't she? Oh, this is what I did learn. This is what Gabby admits to, is when she was younger, she would play a lot of sports, mm -hmm. different ones, so that she would figure out what she wanted to really play. If 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 it's if sports was something that she wanted, and she played soccer, and she was so good. But she one day was like, I don't. She didn't want to play anymore, and I was like, Okay, that's fine. She goes, But if you want me to keep playing, then I'll play for you, mom. And I was, was like, the No. Biggest mistake ever. I was like, I never want you to do something for me. So I was like, Yeah, no problem. You don't have to play it anymore. But she regrets that, right? Yeah. She says that she wished that she just got a break from it, and um, that way she would have kept playing. She was really good, but she chose basketball over soccer but you know with the quarantine and everything and you know not being able to work out or do anything she's kind of gotten back into art and so she's not as into sports as she used to be yeah and, i mean this quarantine's kind of made you evaluate everything and kind i'm of a musician now <laughs> yeah she's a musician now and is back into painting and um 
I don't mind that at all. Like, whatever makes you happy is fine with us, you know? Yeah. So it was never something that we were forcing upon you. It was something that you just did and you liked it and you had all your friends in it. And then, yeah. but now it's like, you're older now. Like you always say, I'm older now. <laughs> I'm older but now. you're older now and you get to choose what you want, you know? So, um, but she still likes to play just more yeah. as a fun thing to do. And that's fair. Yeah. I think it, everything is just reevaluated in <laughs> your life and it's like, it's not as serious anymore. It's yeah. like, whatever. Everyone's out here just doing what they can so um so that's a big change for gabby with quarantine is going from being very athletic to ah, yeah. <laughs> very laid back <laughs> and because of you know she was always on the go like she had to go to school and then from school she had practice and then and then it was mm -hmm. or a game and then she'd be home late and then she'd get home and then she would have Home. homework till like 11 midnight and then it would just repeat and then on the weekends she would have homework that she didn't or projects that she didn't get to finish and it was just a constant like we it was hard to like catch up with Gabby and like to see her because she was constantly busy yeah I, th I barely saw you guys yeah then, like when I come home I go to my room and just start my homework yeah and then I go to bed right after exactly and then in the morning it was like I leave early because I had to go on the bus and stuff. Exactly. And now it's, we see each other I see all you, the time. <laughs> you know, with Gabby, growing up with my mom, I was very, very close to my mom. And so I wanted to make sure that when I had a daughter, um, or any kids, that I wanted to make sure that I was close to them and they could always feel that they can talk to me. And um, Gabby and I are pretty close. I feel like she tells me. Yeah, we're super close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she tells me a lot. Um, and she, and you know, I've always said, just ask me regardless if it's uncomfortable or whatever just I'd rather you ask me and then I mean you're gonna ask your friends anyway their take on it but my friends just tell me but I like you to hear from my point of view so even if it's like cringe and I don't want to know well no I always want to know but you know even if it's like hard for you to tell me she always tells me and she or she'll ask me things that she wants to know or that I hear at school. Or she hears at school what certain things might mean. Because I don't know anything. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> like, maybe we both should Google that together. Because <laughs> I want to know. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, you're still in your awkward phase. Oh, yeah, I'm super awkward. She's so I barely talk on camera. And it was funny because growing up, like, we were always, like, I grew up and, you know, I had a strict strict dad who was like you can't date till like you're 16 and so I'd always tell Gabby that that I couldn't date until I was 16 and for some reason because I kept telling her that story she just assumed that she had to wait till she was 16 so when she was 16 I she was like I could date now I was like I never <laughs> said you I was like no you kept telling me that story so I assumed that 16, 16 was yeah I was like you have to be like 30 30 I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, would be I just wish. I wish. But no, I, I mean, I know. Like, I I know that you can go out in the world and you can go on dates and stuff. It's uh. so awkward. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, you, you raised you good enough to respect yourself, so mm -hmm. you'll be fine. And you won't go out with anybody that um, was bad anyway, so. School. You're actually doing pretty good. Yeah, right doing now. Pretty good. she's doing really good. It's I think hard, the slower though. pace has kind of helped you in terms of being at home and not having all that extra. That, that is true. Yeah, it's just a lot. She has a lot, and because it's quarantine, I didn't know that. I don't know why I said that so extremely loud, but <laughs> 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 well, we thought with it being quarantine, you're not going to meet many people. No. <laughs> So I'm like, yay! <laughs> Wrong. But we'll touch on that later. So, <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Um, yeah. They <laughs> want to get that fun. <laughs> Dating is just overrated. Dating is not fun, Gabs. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> I, I, I love having her home a lot because I know. I mean, she's 17. Pretty soon, it she'll be moving, moving far away. Far, whatever. <laughs> no, you're not. Ah, she said when when college I'm comes kidding. around. I think she said the farthest she'll ever go is like two hours away, San Diego. San Diego. But I'm like, I was like, um, you can. We live around like 
five, six different, even probably more colleges you can go there. You can move there, which you only be like 30 minutes away, 45, an hour tops, you know, just in case you need me. I literally was like, you can move down the street. There's places. <laughs> down the street. <laughs> that way you could still be on your own, but like we're there just in case you're like, oh, I need you. And then I go over. See? I want to be independent. Oh, why did I say that? <laughs> you teach your kids to be independent and then they really are. And then they want to go out into the world. And you're like, no. Mm -hmm. But she's a good girl. So we are blessed to have you. She's a good girl. She doesn't talk back. She doesn't. Oh, yell. I do not. Because I'd be like, what? No, I'm just kidding. Be scared. Scared. <laughs> I just kidding. I never. She just never would. She's always been chill, pretty she's laid back. Reason. If anything, she's just silly and goofy. So <laughs> nothing wrong with that. She's respectful. Mm -hmm. I think she says she's more comfortable with adults than she is. Like with parents, yeah. she's more comfortable with parents than she is with like her peers. I which love is talking funny. to like adults. <laughs> <laughs> Well, parents. You said that you can go around talking to adults. <laughs> She's comfortable, like, talking to parents. Like, when she goes to her yeah, friend's house. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. You're going to talk, gonna randomly talk to adults. No. It's just, not happening. It's cool. Yeah. And we always, um, for one-on-ones, like, we usually, it's more, like, in the car talking. Mm hmm And then we watch, like, we'll watch teen movies together, shows together that are just, like, me and her shows. Yeah. Love shows. <laughs> yes, in our feeling shows. In our feeling. And then that's also a good way, like when you watch all those teen shows and stuff, good way to like just talk about mm -hmm. everything. So that's usually what we do. She's also really good at talking with her dad too, which is really cool. Oh yeah, my dad like is super open with me. Yeah. I could tell him anything. Daughters, it's hard to talk with dads, especially about boys, boys. and stuff and feelings. <laughs> that's but so awkward. he's actually really good with that with her. Yeah. Like, he just gives his opinion, but he doesn't make her feel like, no, you can't date till you're 100. You know, I mean, <laughs> we would like to, but um, he he's really good with her. Freshman year when she was playing basketball, they uh, nicknamed her Big Gabs. So now we all like I to call her. Every school calls her. <laughs> now we just call her Big Gabs. Like, my teachers. I don't know how my teachers heard that, but yeah. I have some Because her real name is Gabriella, but we don't ever say that. I don't think we've ever called you Gabriella. I've heard you say Gabriella in <laughs> so long. Yeah. It's always Gabby. She gets big My name. Yeah, my cousins will call me Gabriella to mess with me. They're like, oh my god, Gabriella. Yes. And that's one thing with the quarantine. She got very close with her cousins, which yeah. is awesome. It's probably you the know, best because part. Because they, hardly, they hardly saw each other. We, we, I mean, we, I hardly saw you. and so We weren't close at all. I mean, we were close, but... Mm. Everyone kind of did their own thing. Yeah. Except for Jaden. Jaden oh, yeah, Jaden and her are pretty best much... Friend. Yeah, they're like brother and sister, so they're always... He's in the they, gardening video. <laughs> yes. He, they've been together since they were babies. Yeah. With your other cousin, she hardly saw them that much. It was only, like, during holidays and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and really. honestly, it was always, like... We would try to talk to each other, but it just... We don't know. We didn't, like, click, yeah. I guess, at that time. Right. And now they're all, like, they are really super close. They, they are all close. And that's it's one awesome. thing that I've loved about quarantine, seeing um, all the cousins come together and get really close. Yeah, it started just by, we all started working out together. Getting gains! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but that's about it. I you didn't but that's it. Me, I did. I didn't. I, I was thought good. you were gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna expose you. I need you to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Recreate of the last video. Yes. If you haven't seen the holiday Q and A um, one where she, I made her sing. That's that's, that's a funny one. one. That's a good one. But yeah. So that's our little check in with Gabby for now. Until next time. Until next time. When was your first kiss, mom? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not being exposed. Exposing. No, I was very innocent. Honestly, I'm not even saying it like to I'm a mom to joking. be like, oh, no, I did nothing. I was innocent. Thank you. Well, um, I didn't have to expose you too much. There's, I mean, there's it's really quarantine. Nothing. There's really nothing that I can tell. I mean, and there's really nothing. I won't. <laughs> But I'm okay. Well, thank you. Till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>